two and two on the West Coast swing with two more to go. You know, bad news is we lost. Good news is so did the Celtics tonight and the Hawks yesterday. Um, doesn't kill us too bad. Uh, that's huge uh, because the Hawks did drop their game and the Celtics losing their game today. So, you know, we're still back to only being a half game up. Uh, we, yeah, we, we, not, we got the two L.A. games. Are, are we able to take advantage of the Laker game? You know, the Clipper game is going to be another rough one. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a challenge for us. But you know what? Uh, you know, we got to cl- close out. We had, I would say, I want to say three quarters. We had two and a half good quarters of basketball tonight. But we, we like we say all the time, you got to play all four quarters. And mm-hmm. that's what we missed out on tonight. And, I mean, yeah, the Knicks, you know, had off the bat the, you know, missing three guys. Um, obviously, Mitch is not in, and then you're missing quickly. You're missing Burks, so you're already at a deficit. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing that happens this is the NBA, so it's how you respond to those situations that makes or breaks winning teams versus losing teams, you know. And the Knicks hung in there. It was again the end of that third quarter, that fourth quarter was thing, the beginning of the fourth is when everything started to unravel. And like I always say, basketball is a game of possessions and runs, and they just did not keep their foot on what they could control while they could control it, which means the defense. The defense got very lackluster yeah. in that fourth quarter. You are just rushing shots that you didn't have to take, but you also weren't defending shots that um, you should have or could have been defending to prevent the score from just getting the gap getting larger and larger like it did. Yeah, I think they got a little bit frustrated with the lack of calls. I think they got frustrated with like that situation with CP3 and Taj and then that went ahead and trickled mm-hmm. down. It was just, it was a domino effect. Everything mm-hmm. kind of stemmed from that incident. And you can't get rattled because in playoff games, this happens. Playoff games are ruthless. We were up by seven with a minute left in the third. The Rose makes a three-pointer. Uh, the Suns get a Kaminsky layup. Cameron Payne hits a, hits a three-pointer. That brings them to within two. And here's where the thing gets crazy, man. With six seconds left, Devin Booker takes it end-to-end. Misses the layup. Torian Craig gets the tipping shot. It's now a tie game. It's now a tie game. And RJ with a terrible inbounds pass, lazy inbound pass, gets it stolen by Cameron Payne, who tips it and gets a layup in with 0.2 seconds left. And the Suns would end up taking a two-point lead after that. And that was it, man. I just did not feel like we were going to win this game at that point because, as I said, already being down uh, quickly and being down Burks, you got to play a perfect game against this team. This is the best team, one of the best teams in the league. You cannot make these boneheaded mistakes, especially on the road. I thought that uh, the Suns made excellent adjustments. Give credit to Monty Williams. They put Mikal Bridges on Derrick Rose, who was our offensive igniter in the first half. They put Mikal Bridges on him. Shut him down. They doubled him on all the on all. They trapped him on all the pick and rolls. So that made the other, they, they put it in everybody else's hands. They wanted RJ to beat him. They wanted Frank to beat him. They wanted Taz to beat him, Obi, you know, even Julius. And, and they just couldn't get it done. And I think this is this was the pivotal point where a guy like Alec Burks, you missed. In the first half, they weren't even hitting consistently. Yeah, you weren't letting them live in the paint. You weren't even making it uncomfortable for them to shoot. That has nothing to do with the refs. That has nothing to do with the pieces that you were missing. That is you abandoning the game that you can play despite having the holes that you can't control. And in the fourth quarter, you allowed yourself to get frazzled by things that are going to happen in the course of a playoff series. And you allow that to take you out of the game that brought you here in the first place. And you can't do that. So as much as I want to go ahead and put the blame on somebody, the blame goes on the guys on the court. Because it didn't have to end yeah. this way. It didn't have to look this way. And that is what it is. They didn't give themselves a fighting chance to even win this game. You know, especially with the blunders, uh, the lack of hustle on, on the rebounds. Um, you know, Suns just had more energy. They came with more intensity. Obviously, coming off a loss of the Hawks, the Suns, the Suns were coming in with a chip on their shoulder. Aiton, Aiton was eating food all night. You know, again, that was a big adjustment from the first game to this second game. Uh, his impact was felt from the beginning to the end. And I thought he just overpowered Nerlens. This wasn't Nerlens's uh, best effort. It wasn't a good night for him. And, and yeah, this, this thing just got out of hand late in the game. And, and the Knicks just couldn't counter it. You know, I'm not going to blame, you know, everything on the refs, man. You know, obviously, RJ didn't get no calls at all. None. I mean, it just seems like you know as soon as C um as soon as CP3 started you know crying and 
flopping, you know, the whole game just changed. Mm -hmm. Granted, we didn't make any shots, you know, and that really didn't help us. I mean, you can tell that we missed quickly. You can tell yeah, that we, we missed missed, Burks. We missed that was but a huge at part the end of, of the offense, at, at the end of the day, man, we, you know, I, granted, we haven't been getting calls all year. So, yeah. you know, right. it's frustrating, you know, but we still got to compete, man. Like, that's that's the th one thing that I care about. You know, it's as soon as we start complaining about fouls, we just start getting blown off the floor. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm, I'm going to spit some numbers to you, but, you know, um, we gave up over uh, 13 threes in the second half. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be that's not going to be, you know, Phoenix, mm -hmm. you know, um. We got our scored like forty three to like fifteen. I mean, we got our scored seventy two forty two in the second half. Yeah. I mean that that's that's not just referee. That's just competing. I thought um I thought uh what's his name Crowder was supposed to get ejected. I could have scored. I was like a second mm -hmm. technical, and then yeah. he, he I see him get back in the game and splash like two more threes. I'm like man, like these just was just they, they was just airing us out in the fourth quarter. I mean they outscored yeah. us by twenty one. Well, you know what? I mean, to, you know, the thing with the threes is that, yes, their rotations could have been better, but I thought that it was the game plan of Tibbs. He wanted to double uh, CP3. He wanted to double Booker and take the ball out of their hands and let the rest of those guys beat him. In the first half, it was working. They were clanking their three-pointers. In the second half, they were hitting them, whether it was Payne, Crowder, Mikal Bridges knocked down a couple. This is what they do. This is why the Suns' offense is prolific. Sometimes they could throw five guys out there that can knock down a three on you, so... You know, this is the defense that that we deploy. We do give up a lot of three pointers, not just to the Suns, but we we give them up. You know, and, and some teams yeah. are going to knock them down. Some teams aren't, and, and not like the, tonight. The Suns did in the second half, uh, and I just thought that when we try to battle back in a game, we just didn't have that firepower because you saw in the second half when they took D Rose out. You know, RJ didn't have it, and then you know, you, you know, Frank is not gonna be, get 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 you a bucket when you need it. <laughs> the others on that team did a good job yeah. tonight. Like I got no and shade against them. Harry is right here with the steal on RJ. Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. Like, like we talked about Jay Crowder, like all of them, yeah. all of them did their thing. Javon Carter, like we, right when uh, right as, as right as we brought him, him his credit, mm -hmm. he came, he came in and got a steal right away. You know what I mean? Like the others yeah. did what they had to do. They were fully tooled tonight. They understood the game plan from what was different between now and the last time they played us, and they executed it. They could eight and you know, so it's just yeah. I'm everything Monty Williams said is 100 true. But to all the points tonight for the New York Knicks, it's just as simple as there's four quarters in a game that as something as quick as the last minute of that third quarter is what took us completely out of the game. We got to play all four quarters, especially against teams like this. I, I don't have anything else to add. The referees yeah. suck. Yes. I was very frustrated with that. It's, it's crazy to see RJ Barrett only see two free throws uh, for the entire game after going to the rim a countless amount of times, but referees is part of the battle. The Knicks had to do what they had to do uh, and we didn't do it tonight. Yep. People that say that miss, we don't need miss. We can sign the wealth and save some money. They're crazy. Yeah. Noel has looked terrible against real centers. He looked terrible against Jovi. He, yeah. he looked terrible tonight against Aiden, bro. These the pick and roll, Chris Paul was literally toying with him Crazy, on the yeah. pick and roll. Find yeah. Aiden wide open for layups every single time. Like, mm -hmm. come on, bro. Mm -hmm. To the fact that Tib ran Taj out to go cover Aiden. Like, come on, you you, you gotta you gotta pick it up. Mitch is is our center moving forward. We gotta invest in Mitch. Yeah, he can move his feet. He's smart. He can rebound. He's just a better player than the world. We got to yeah, stop that. Overall, yeah, overall, yeah. Overall, is definitely love. better. The Suns, you got Carter, you got you got campaign, you got the the kid Cam, whatever his name is, the, yeah. the backup point guard. Campaign. You got you got Bridges. These are the young kids. They invested and developed their kids. You got to find out what you got in some of these kids this summer. I'm not saying now, but now is not got the to time. Knock fam. By his bootstraps and figure this out. So I'm done with Frank. Frank is finished. But Knox, they got to see what they could juice out of Knox. Not, they, they have to figure out Knox because we need a wing. But Cal, is, is, he's starting to get off the dribble. He's starting to cut. He's starting to shoot three. He looked like a real, real player. That's going to hurt us. We got to see what we got out of Knox for real this summer. Or summer, draft yeah. a wing or sign one. Something got to go down. We need some youth. Because yeah. Rose and Bullock, they, these cats, look, they look burnt out by the fourth quarter. This West Coast trip ain't good for them. Yeah, look at Obi at the five, CP. Obi was cooking. Why you can't put him in? Taj was losing his mind with CP. We we not going back to training camp, man. <laughs> we we not trying to go backwards. Yeah, but you gotta. Tonight was the night to play Obi at five, bro. To see what you got for at least a couple know. minutes. Tonight was the night to see no. get a couple threes. He was running. Tonight was the night to see what at least you got at the five of Obi. 
experiment a little too. If you ain't have none with no well, you ain't have none with ties, put Ovi at the five. See what you got. If it's trash, pull him up, put ties back in. But at least attempt and be experimental like the other coaches. Don't stick to your rotation so deep that you can't even venture out and do different things. Like, yeah, come but on, bro. Jay, this is what God is saying, out, bro. He's not experimenting right now. And that's my guy. No, like, no not doubt. the time. Now is not the time, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's serious that's time. I don't that's disagree cool. with the points, just not now. Like, not now. <laughs> not yeah, now. of course I right want Kev to, to get burned and Obi right. to continue. I thought Obi had an outstanding first half. He had a great game. I thought Obi had a good first half, but you can't expect them to just take Randall out and go to Obi. Like, that's just it's not going to happen. Or, or go to Obi at the five when, when Taj has gotten us this far. That's just not going to happen, bro. This is a better team. There wasn't, a, you know, we, there was no amount of chess moves we were going to make that was going to win us this game. Man. Didn't have it. Yeah, Whoever was short. playing had to get it done, and they didn't get it done, period. Tonight, specifically, I think it was the adjustment defensively more than anything else. Yeah. Because uh, you could tell that Tibbs was, was even though Alfred Payton was having those lapses in the third quarter, he was still rocking with Alfred Payton so Derrick Rose can get that extra rest. And when he came in, the defense was already ready for him. And Mikhail Bridges, like you mentioned, was the one that was on him. And he was being cut off every time he went to the rim to the point where you never saw Derrick Rose uh, get a layup for That's the rest right. of the game. So That's right. I think it was more the adjustment than him being winded in tonight's game specifically. Yeah. They may and again, remember, adjustments. Monty has the privilege and the accessibility to make the adjustments needed. Right. right. You, you know, Tibbs doesn't have that. We don't have luck. that many people, man. You he doesn't know. have anything to adjust with. He yeah. doesn't have anything to sub. So that's also another thing that we go back More to. Weapons. That's why the blaming of Tibbs is just not going to fly tonight. Yeah. At least not with me because he doesn't have anything mm-hmm. to go mm-hmm. ahead and substitute in and out. Monty has a plethora of different options. So. Yeah. It, it makes it easier. And that's just, it. listen, that's what happens. That's just unfortunately the name of the game when you, you're dealing with injuries, when you're dealing with, um, you know, players being out and things like that. You, you, you're you shorthanded. 